Hi guys, today we have two motherboards to show off. Let me introduce you all the two motherboards we have here. This is the Asus ROG Strix B650A Gaming Wi-Fi and this is the Asus ROG Strix B650EF Gaming Wi-Fi motherboard. These are two motherboards for the new AMD AM5 platform. So if you're looking to build a new PC, you can actually keep your options open for these two. However, take note that since this is the new AM5 platform, the socket configuration is no longer the old AM4, AM3 pin grid array configuration. The new socket is a LGA socket, similar to the sockets found on Intel motherboards. Let's not waste much time and let's just dive in and have an overview of these motherboards now. So we have both the boards outside from the box. Now let's just have a quick look at its common features and also its key differences. This is the ROG Strix B650EF gaming Wi-Fi motherboard, black color. This is the B650A ROG Strix gaming Wi-Fi, white color. Common features that you'll find on this board Okay, is first thing, the PCIe Q release. I'm sure you all are aware of what is the PCIe Q release already by now. Uh, ARGB ports, fan headers, three M.2 slots, all support PCIe 4.0, multiple SATA ports. Basically, every common feature you'd find on any motherboard is present on both the boards. The key differences here, there are only Three main differences, I would say. From what I know, only three. First thing, your first expansion slot, your PCIe X16 slot on the B650EF gaming Wi-Fi motherboard, it has PCIe 5.0 enabled, while on the B650A, the white color one, it only has PCIe 4.0 available. Second key difference, on the white color B650A, your maximum M.2 length is only up to 80 millimeters, which is standard. It is the universal standard for most M.2 drives today. The B650EF, the black color one, it has one slot which can accommodate up to 110 millimeters long or 110 millimeters length of M.2 drives. The last significant difference is the USB ports present on the boards. Of course, the B650EF has more USB ports against the B650A. So that's all for the common features and the differences. So now it boils down to the question of which motherboard is suited for my bill. My bill as in your bill. It all boils down to one thing, whether you like black or whether you like white. If you like white, this is the choice. If you like black or you're secretly a black pink fan, this is your choice. As I mentioned, the key differences, PCIe 5.0, M.2.2.2.1.1.0 slot, extra USB ports. All this comes at a cost of RM1539 for the B650EF and RM1409 for the B650A. There is a price difference of 120 ringgit. So, it boils down to this at the end of the day, whether you like white or black, and do you want to save that 120 ringgit? If you want to save the 120 ringgit, go for the B650A. If you don't mind the 120 ringgit, go for the B650EF. So I guess that's about it for today. I hope you all enjoyed the content. Please do like and subscribe, and look out for the next video.